everybody unqualified gamer here and yes we're talking about chapter 1012 let's get to it Chapter 1012 of One Piece. And let me tell you what a chapter it is. What a chapter. So let's start off with the cover uh, the cover page. Because, of course, you know, every One Piece, well, mostly, you know, every One Piece chapter comes with a cover page. And with this one is basically Yusuke's kid is making a bird. But failed to realize that he has a bird's nest on top of his head of actual live birds. Love these cover arcs. They're requests from readers and Oda just draws these things up and then put them on the front page. So I enjoy that, but let's get down to business because there's this whole chapter starts with Kinemon and the rest of the Samurais and they are basically running towards their backup. They're just basically going to run so they can catch up to their support so they can help out wherever they can. Um, Kinemon breaks apart with the group. They, he's going, I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, Kinemon is going towards, I think, uh, Momosuke. Um, I think it's Kinemon and a couple other people are going towards Momosuke. And then you have uh, Kappa, who's basically going in, the other, in another direction um, to help out their, their fellow allies. Uh, in that same process, Cat Viper finds out the sad news that Pedro is dead. Um, and also finds out that the killer, the person that killed Pedro, is actually on that island. So, pretty much, you know, Cat Viper is pissed. He's like, I want to avenge Pedro. And guess what he do? He actually flies off. He's, uh, he's in a fury. So, he flies off going towards the person that killed Pedro. My man, Pedro. Thank, thank you, Pedro, for sacrificing yourself to help the Straw Hats escape Whole Cake Island uh, with Sanji. Um, but ahead of that, you see Momosuke um, hanging back with uh, with Shinobu and Master Yamato. And Yamato uh, decides to, you know, make himself a decoy uh, so, that he could, so, so that he can attract... Um, Kaido's uh, Kaido's men away from Momosuke, um, in that you know, in, along those lines, um, Yamato, um, asked Momosuke if he could still hear Luffy's voice, and of course, Momosuke said yes, nothing really has changed. However, there's only two people up there that is fighting, so you already know what happened from the previous chapters of Luffy and Kaido fighting. Yamato, decides to leave Momosuke in Shinobu's care. And in that meantime, uh, Momosuke is actually reading his father's logbook his, of his adventures. So that's that's pretty much uh, leading up to, you know, him learning about, you know, actually understanding what his father was going through and actually giving him the confidence of becoming an actual good leader of the Wano country. I could definitely see that happening. Um... Then it focuses on Sanji, 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 Sanji. Now Sanji, he's on his way to Momosuke. He decides he's going to go and try to help Momosuke. But in that same breath, Zoro and Law and Zeus appears right in front of him with Law and Zoro falling into Sanji's hands. Now you already know Sanji's, like Sanji's whole thing of only women is allowed to be in my hands. And so he is pissed off to the highest pissosity, you know, Law is like basically in a hurry. He said, listen, look, I got, I got some shit I got to take care of. I, I know Big Mom is somewhere around here. I got to follow Zeus because Zeus is on his way. He's going back to Big Mom. He's like, Big Mom, I'm going to try to save you. He's going to try to save face. I'm pretty sure with all this happening, Big Mom ain't trying to hear, hear that from Zeus and she's going to leave him the, the dust though. But um, you have, you know, basically you have Law running, you know, running towards the direction of Big Mom because now they're all on the same floor uh, currently. Um, as he's running off, Sanji is like holding Zoro. <laughs> he's like, what do, what do you want me to do with this? Okay, I'm just going to throw him down somewhere. Uh, you know, just going to, you know, continue on. He's like, no, no, no. I need you. You know, he's like, no, it's easy. Just split him up. Make sure he's not, you know, make sure he don't, don't fall unconscious or anything like that. You know, keep him awake. You know, you'll be fine. So Sanji actually being a great teammate here. Uh, helped, Zoro, uh, helped Zoro bandaging him up. 
Um, cause Zoro has at least about 20, to 30 ribs or 20, to 30 bones broken. Um, according to law, what he said. So Sanji is basically, uh, he bandaged Zoro into like a sort of like a crucifix. So he's just kind of carrying Zoro like a crucifix. Of course, Zoro's just like laid out stretched like this. <laughs> it's actually, it's actually quite comical seeing that. Um, and he's still talking shit. Like either, you know, Sanji's still talking shit. They'll ask him like, yo, how, like who did this to you? Like, you know, how, how do you, how do you, how do you get at least 20, 30 bones broken? Like, you know, and he's like, Zoro just like falling in and out of sleep. Like, uh, uh, Kaido did this to me, uh, like that. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, seeing that, um, Zoro, Zoro's still alive. You know, he's still alive, still kicking. Uh, actually, to be honest, if I'm not mistaken, this is Zoro's first, like since 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 they've been to the New World. I think this is Zoro's first time he really he really gotten hurt. Um, so so in that same breath, Sanji and Zoro are running towards Momosuke. And then they run into they run into Kappa and a, and a few other the samurais. Um, basically, Zoro is basically going in and out of consciousness, and he's like main floor. So that's where they're that's where they're heading from there. Um, so then they focus on Big Mom. Now you already know Big Mom from the last chapter. Big Mom put down page one. I mean, Alti is pissed she's like not my pay pay my you did not just knock out my pay pay how dare you um so as big mom and alti are just arguing with each other nami's just like okay this is my opportunity to try to you know weasel my way out of this so she's like hey big mom like yeah, you know, you go ahead, you get, you get, you get Alti, man. Like, she ain't shit. You know what? By the way, and she got, she actually pulls up with a pretty good lie. Talking about, yo, it was her fault that that village got burnt down, you know. And it's her fault that everything is happening the way how it is now. So you need to go kick her ass. And, like, Big Mom just like, uh, excuse me, straw hat. Like, don't forget, I'm still pissed at you guys. And I'm going to kick your ass after I'm done with her. So... <laughs> Just like 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 a cool Nami like thing. I just like I like I like the little subtleties that they keep with these characters, regardless of how long they've been with us. And she just like switch sides so easily, just like so Alti, we can both team up and beat Big Mom. And she just cuts her off right there, like ah bitch, let me tell you something. After I'm done with this old hag, you're next. So <laughs> You know, there's so she's like, well, shit, like since since you know, Big Mom's going to kick my ass, and all she's going to kick my ass. Come on, Usopp, we're going to hop, we're going, we're going, we're going to hop on um Komachio. So they both hop on Komachio, and they start. I mean, they 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 both Usopp and Nami, they both hop on Komachio. They're like, we out of here. You know, we getting the hell out of here. Let them fight each other. All she's like, oh hell no, you're not you're not getting away that easily. So she goes into her high reform, does a quick dash, pop pop pop. Headbutts Komachio. I mean, he, she, whew, I think she broke, I think, I think she broke a couple bones from that, from that dog, man. I think so. So she talks her shit, you know, she's like, oh, okay. So like, you know, I'm tired of chasing you guys. So, you know, I'm angry. Okay. Page one is down. You know, I'm ready to, I'm finna to kick everybody's ass. So at that same breath, yo, she is like, like she, she's beating down that dog, man. I mean, animal cruelty, man, even though she's an animal herself, but, uh, she kicks, so she, so she kicks the lion dog, uh, Komochio, and she continues beating him on the ground. She's like, you know, she's kicking him. Toma gets really upset. Because like I said, that's, that's her friend. She's like, you know, that's my friend. You ain't going to be kidding on my friend like this. You need to stop. Man, whoo, Alti, why did you do this? She smacks her. She smacks Tama. She deadly smacks Tama. And Nami, the look on Nami's face, I haven't seen that look in Nami's face in a very, very, very long time. I mean, I honestly think she has some flashbacks, okay? I think a little shell shock came back to her because she was like, oh, no, 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 no. Tama? You gonna hit Tama, and the fact of the matter is not not only that Nami is mad that Ulti hitting the Tama, but Big Mom is pissed because Big Mom betrent befriended Tommy uh, Tama. Tama helped her out when she had her amnesia, and she considered Tama her friend. And nobody, like nobody, 
you know, hit or harm Big Mom's friends along with, well, the same philosophy as what the one, or the Straw Hats have. Nobody hits my Nakama, my friends. So, I mean, you know, so, so, so Nami's like, so Nami's like, oh no, like you're not going to, Tama, are you okay? Are you, are you cool? Are you all right? She goes and check on Tama. Usaba's like, hey, Nami, let Big Mom handle this. Let's, let, let's take Tama. We're going to get the hell out of here. Okay. Like let Big Mom handle this. Nami's like, nah, nah, I can't, I, I can't leave after this. She crossed the line. She takes out her, yo, oh my God, yo, she shocks. She shocks Alti, puts her ass down. She shocks Alti, puts her ass down, says, nah, I'm finna to stay here and kick her ass. <sighs> big Nami moment. Nami had two big moments in this arc that showed her strength as a straw hat. Whew. Like, that's where the chapter ends. Yes, there is a chapter next week. But that's where the chapter ends. And I have to say, two big Nami moments. Nami, whew. like you said, Usopp had his moment back on Dresser Rosa. And like I said, I like, I like Usopp. I'm, I'm a Usopp fan. I do like Usopp, but Usopp is definitely is the coward. He still is the coward of the group. Um, and Nami can be that way from time to time. But when you cross the line with Nami, she will stand her ground. Um, she did it twice in this, in this actually. And I know I keep repeating that because it's such, I mean, you really don't see that in the one piece chapter, seeing Nami become like, you know, is like extremely bold within two chapters or like, or in, in two times in, in an arc. The first time was when Alti and it, like I said, it both happens with Alti. It's funny. Like, like Alti, um, try, try, try to convince her saying that Luffy is not going to be the pirate King and try to, you know, basically, um, beat her down to say that like, Hey, you know, Luffy is not the pirate King. If you don't say that, then I will kill you. And Usopp was definitely trying to coerce Nami and the saying, Hey, just say it so you can live because the whole point is to live another day. But Nami's like, nah, I believe in my captain. My captain's going to become a pirate King. Do what you got to do, bitch. Um, but of course, you know, um, Tama came in and saved her. Um, they've been chasing after her since then that happened like a few chapters back. But now at this moment, when Tama gets hit by Alti, Nami's like, nah, that's the drawing line. Like that is a sweet girl. She helped us all out. Like you're not going to just sit there and do this. And then big mom is actually pissed at that too, which this is going to be a very interesting twist to this because it's like big mom still have that, that, that hatred that, that like, ah, I ain't still ain't cool with the straw hats, but they're going to put their differences aside for this little girl. And this little girl is going to be the one that, that kind of like going to sway that, that forgiveness for big mom. I feel it might, this might happen. This might happen though. But overall, I enjoyed reading this chapter. The chapter was definitely like, Ooh, man, it was, it was, it was definitely, it was definitely pretty good though. I definitely, I, I really did enjoy it though. But let me know what you guys think. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know. Comment down in the section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace out.